Good. So I can I can listen uh, slowly sometimes sure. and I can understand more. Um, yeah, I'll slow down a little bit too. I forget uh, my my Polish is is no good. So if you were speaking Polish, <laughs> so so my friend in a similar matrix was making about four hundred thousand per week, mm -hmm. and that company was not doing the volume that we're going to be doing or that we're currently doing. So this is very mm -hmm. lucrative. So how it works is I'm going to draw on this for you so you can see. So let's say you're up top. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> I'm not okay, an So if that's you, and let's say you bring in Simon right here. So that's your person. And then Simon recruits me. So let me clear that. Let's say, let me do it in color. So this is you. And then you recruit Simon. It's actually the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I like, put, I always put the person on top <laughs> that I'm talking to. Yeah. It's habit. It's habit. And then Simon recruits me. So mm -hmm. Tony's here. And then let's say I recruit my fiance, Julie. Mm -hmm. And for the fill up, it goes top to bottom, left to right. And so let's say Simon recruits another person. He recruits Adrian because I know he, he, he did. Mm -hmm. And then let's say you start recruiting really fast. Uh, you bring in Marcin, and let's say you bring in uh, Maria. So anyone you bring in is red color. Right, let me understand. So this is totally all, uh, different matrix than the binary matrix, yes? Correct. So when you put people in the binary, it automatically puts them here for you. You don't right. have to okay. do it. So so I don't need to qualify or something. To qualify for this, you have to have your automatic bot do one trade in, in a week. So That's we've it. done it already. Correct. Like, yeah, my, my automatic bot did 2,100 trades over three weeks. So it, oh, that's it trades fast. Um, okay. Or you can do three hybrid trades in a week. Yes. And it will qualify you. And I'll tell you why okay. that's important and why it's kind of amazing soon. So the, this matrix feels top to bottom, left to right. So let's say before Simon recruits his next person, let's say mm -hmm. you recruit Brian. It spills over here. So, so he's you, doing automatically, yes? Automatically, as you bring people in. So mm -hmm. let's say Mary, she starts recruiting people. She brings in Tom, Tim, and she brings in Ted. And then you bring in, okay, so let's say uh, this is Marcin, and Marcin brings in Bill, and then you bring in your next person. You bring in mm -hmm. Carl with mm -hmm. a C. He funnels in here, top to bottom, left to right. So the next person, you or, or Marcin, that brings in your next person is going to go here. If Marcin mm -hmm. does it, it's his person. And then, so if Marcin brings in the very next person, Todd, and then the, the, the next minute you put someone in the binary, Jan, it fills down here, top to bottom, right. left to right, automatically. It keeps... Mm -hmm. Looking so then so if Simon brings in someone next, it goes here, maybe. Right. If you bring in someone before Simon, it fills there first. So you never know. So here's what's crazy. Let's say that this person, me, I don't do anything. I just mm -hmm. trade the bots. And I, I mm -hmm. don't build much, but Simon drops somebody in under me, and that person builds a matrix that does 10 million in commissions mm -hmm. every week, 
because I'm lucky and it fell under me, I would get 5% of that entire matrix because it's under me. I would make half a million dollars a week if that fell under me. Okay. Now it all falls under you automatically because you built it. Now could mm -hmm. and will some of Simon's people fall in under here? Yeah, probably. Could some of my people fall into your matrix? It could happen. So you could get some spillover, but all of your people will always be in your matrix. Mm -hmm. Any questions as far? I know that's a lot of circles and everything, but questions as far as that part, how it fills up? Uh, I just think, you know, let me just uh, get it. So, um, so I have three position. I have two, three position now. Yeah. So first, then top and two, uh, um, you know, on, yep, the so on the bottom. So yeah. you control this one. It would automatically give you this in the matrix. Yeah, but I can I can have a view of this my matrix. So yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Let me show you. Okay. So, um, okay. Let me exit from here. So what that means? Uh, Twenty uh, 20 levels down. So. It will pay 5% to 20 levels all the way up. But 5% is the accumulating of the turnover, yes? 5%. I so, mean, so if there's, yeah. if there's trading done, we have to send 20% of our profits to the company that the bots help us earn. Yes, that's weekly, yeah? Weekly. 10% of the profits go into this matrix. So 10% of the profit. So if I make a million dollars trading, mm -hmm. 100,000 is going to go into your, if I'm on your team, 100,000 is going to come into my matrix from me. And you're mm -hmm. above me, you're going to make 5% of that, $5,000. So right. in this example, the 5%, let me get ahead to the matrix. In this case, will be in the right spot. So if these are your teams, and let's say before you recruited anybody, whatever, let's say Simon brought somebody in. So this is mm -hmm. Simon's person. Let me click my invitation on. So Simon's person comes in here, and then you bring in another one here. And then let's say this Simon brings in the next one. It'll go here, and it just fills up. And let's say mm -hmm. all these fill up all the way through and then I come in here and I trade and I make a million dollars in the week. That means a hundred thousand is what I, I owe to the matrix. I owe the company 200,000, 20%. Half of that goes to the company. The other half comes right here into the matrix. Does that make sense? Yeah, but 10%, but what's happened with the other 10%, uh, 5%? So, because so you said 5% is going. Well, no, so, so tw I said, so I did a million dollars. 200,000 is what I send to the company. Yes, 10% is going to the company. The company takes, takes 100,000 for themselves. Yes. Half of that, just so you know, half of that 100,000 goes to the employees. They have mm -hmm. profit sharing. So all the yes. programmers, he gives that to his employees, customer service, everybody. Mm -hmm. Then the, the other half of that, of his part, he keeps. So he takes 100,000 for the company. The other 100,000 goes right here into the matrix under me. Mm -hmm. If you're above me, everybody above me, 20 levels up gets 5%. So that would be in this scenario, $5,000 here to this person, 5,000 here, which is you, that's your spot, mm -hmm. 5,000 mm -hmm. here again, which is you, your spot. So you would make $10,000 off of my trading profits. Right. And then if there's 19 more people above you or whatever, 17 more people, it pays all the way up 20 levels. If somebody's up one more level, they don't get part of the matrix. Right. Okay. For you to personally fill up your matrix, because it's three by 20, you would have to build a team of 3.4 billion people to fill up your own matrix. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going to fill up is what's going to happen. Like it's going to be really hard to fill up. Right. That's how it works. So to look at it, it's not the easiest to look at. Our software isn't the easiest yet to look at, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you the matrix in the software.
Um, mm -hmm. Let me uh, get rid of the annotations. Let's do that again. Clear all drawing, close that. Uh, let me re-log in because it'll probably have booted me out anyways. Uh, I got, I got. Yeah, it's log, it's log out quite fast, yeah? It does. That's security. They don't have the 2FA yet, you know, so it, it stays pretty secure. So we've been building for about 20 days. So our binary, our total team, we've got, um, I'll look, it'll show me. We've got about 982 people on the team. And then we've got, in our binary, there's all 982. The legs you can look at, um, you guys are actually in our left leg. That the, the, team, the team that Simon is with is in our left leg. And then I have a group that I brought into my right leg that's our kind of our stronger leg. Um, mm -hmm. We don't really have a power leg in the company. There's no real spillover for us because the company's new. You know, there's just, there's not any big teams. And the, and the binary caps it at 10,000 a day anyways. And we're, we're going to hit that next month, probably halfway through. So I didn't really need a power leg because I knew I'd, mm -hmm. I'd hit that. Um, but... For the matrix, it's a three by 20. So my first level, the most I can have is three people. So this is me, this is me, this is me. I sponsored all three of these people. And then mm -hmm. Adrian, I sponsored. I sponsored an exit life, an epic life. I sponsored this person. Uh, I did not sponsor this person. Team Crypto brought this one in. I brought this person in. Team Crypto brought this one in. Mm -hmm. And then with Harrington, I brought this person, I brought this person, and Jay Harrington brought this person. So there is some spillover. Um, so if I look at Adrian and his matrix, so it, it drills down. Um, Adrian brought this one, Adrian brought this one, I brought this one. So it just keeps filling up. Um, I brought this, actually this guy brought this one. This guy, Ventures, brought this one. I think he brought that one as well. Adrian brought John Kimball. I, now I don't, now a lot of these people, I don't know who they are, you know? So it, yeah, yeah. it will continue to try and fill up their matrix. This guy hasn't done much recruiting. So a lot of his matrix is filled up with spillover. Other people putting other people underneath him. And he will get the commission from these people as well. So it works up absolutely. So even though he hasn't brought anybody in really, he's brought in, I don't know if he's brought anybody in. So this guy, this guy brought in this guy. This guy, um, it won't let me drill down further, but he's the number one guy right now in our organization. So he's the number two money earner in Bit Club Network number two or three and he brought his whole team in and so that that team is is crushing it and they were a e seller so this guy is crushing it like he's building really big really fast and so my friend that's above him is lucky so he's gonna make five percent like he's really lucky so uh that's how it works Mm -hmm. I'm going to make 5%. Well, I'll make more than 5% because I have, I have more, more, more spots in between. So I'll probably make 10% off of that or 15 off of that. If that mm -hmm. so I can so if I have a free accounts, that's uh, times free then. Correct. So, but yeah. I have, so it doesn't fall under, it falls under two of my matrices that leg does. So I have multiple accounts, but that one only fall, unfortunately it only falls under two of my spots. Um, I think the most I could have is maybe four spots that somebody could fall into the matrix or four of my spots, which would be 20% off of there. So if they had to pay a million dollars, I would make 200,000 or I'd make 20,000 or 200,000. I guess if they had to pay yeah. a million through the entire team. I'd make 200 grand on that. If they had to pay 10 million, I'd make 2 million on that. And this commission is a weekly or monthly? It's weekly. And so if you look, the matrix just started. It's brand new. So there's not much in it. And last week, the first week that it started was really low. So it pays mm -hmm. you in Litecoin. The only people that had to pay last week were um, people that did hybrids because the, the auto trading was down a little bit last week. 
my auto okay. trading overall, I've put in a total into my trades. I just, I added 0.57 Bitcoin if you add it up. So total Bitcoin I invested was 0.57 and my value mm -hmm. already from December 28th to today is 0.96. So even through that big downturn, I'm still way up, which is good. But last week I was mm -hmm. down, so yeah. I didn't have to pay. So it shows you like how much you owe, I owe zero. Now this week, it looks like crypto is gonna do really well. So this week I'm gonna have to pay my 20%, which is great, because then everybody pays and then this number will get big and big. So they just started this, Last week was the first time they invoiced anybody, ever. Mm -hmm. So you can pay by Bitcoin or by Litecoin, yes? It'll just be Litecoin or uh, okay, here. your back office. Pay with Litecoin right. or I can go to my wallet and it says pay with available. If I owe, I can pay with you know, my, my commissions or transfers or you know, right. cash okay. if I need to put some in. But they didn't want somebody that owed $50 to send Bitcoin because it might, you know, they, it might cost them $20 or $30 to send it. So they made it with Litecoin. So I could send to the Litecoin from here. You know, I can, I can trade into Litecoin or however you want to do it. So yeah, you can just purchase Litecoin and send it by Litecoin. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. It's cheaper. It's really cheap. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bitcoin is now quite expensive to, to, to yeah. send it. And so the matrix pays when I pay. So if I'm under you and I pay, it will mm -hmm. show up available in your little Litecoin thing. And then if the people under me pay, it shows up. If I don't pay, they just turn my bots off. They won't let my bots work. I have one week to pay them the invoice. Yeah. And they email you. It will email you letting you know. And then in your back office where I showed you, you can go to the matrix earnings here at the bottom mm -hmm. let's not do that i don't know why it's highlighted everything but it'll go to the bottom the matrix earnings sooner or later i'll be able to scroll down oh i gotta get off of the wallets so yeah and then i don't know if you've used your wallets or, or much but the wallets you can track everything if you i have a wallet video out now but like with your wallets you can transfer money to, for free to anybody. So if somebody oh, really? on your team gives you 2000, you know, Euro or whatever, and you want, you can send them through transfers 2000 PV and just take the cash. Right. Okay. So, so that means transfer available. Yes. Or something like this. Yeah. yeah. So I would put transfer available. Um, your username right. is dream team. One, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Is that your top one? So it says that there you are, you belong in my network. And so then I can I can send you, you know, I would use my transfers. I can send you 325. I request a code and they'll email it to me. All right, now, okay. That's I cannot simple. withdraw. If you transfer me funds, I cannot withdraw that to my wallet. I can only use that to buy people in pretty much. All right. Okay. I can only use transfers internally. Now my commissions, I can withdraw. I just go to, you know, withdraw available. And then I, I'd add a wallet. I haven't even added a wallet. I've never withdrawn. Um, but I will one of these days. So mm -hmm. most of my earnings, I just use them to sign people up because there's a lot of people that don't have Bitcoin or don't want to use their Bitcoin. So I'm like, just give me cash and then I'll use my, my deal. Um, you can check commissions, you know, you can see the binary daily, you can search through stuff. It'll show you, oh, I want to search binary. It'll show you. All right. And then I have other spots that we make money on. So if I go to like transfers, you know, it'll show you where I've transferred out. Um, you know, and it's got, it's got a bunch of different ones. You know, you can see, oh, this, you know, I sent 4,000 here. I sent 2000 here. Um, you know, one of my other spots, maybe, uh, is transferring funds to me or whatever. So I can track everything that's gone on through my wallet pretty much, you know, 22,000. So one of our other spots, we just sent the commissions from there, 22,000. We just sent that those commissions to this spot. So it was just easier to deal with. So that way, you know, 
instead of having to have two spots that I deal with and transfer, I just kind of with you with Dream Team One, I I, I would just kind of I take my money from Dream Team Two and Three, I put it to one, and then I use that to sign people up. Um, if you want to withdraw, okay. you can. The, there's one little trick. They they charge ten percent to withdraw, which is high. All right, okay. They're gonna yeah, offer, it's quite high. They're gonna offer Ethereum and Litecoin. It'll be cheaper when they do. They'll they, so we can withdraw other coins and it'll be cheaper. However, you can make a lot of money, and that's not my goal. But they they pay us in U.S. dollars. Pretty much the PV mm -hmm. is equivalent to the dollar. Mm -hmm. So let's say last week is when I earned this money mm -hmm. and Bitcoin was 15,700 mm -hmm. last week. So one Bitcoin was that, let's just say. So last week, yes. if I got that earned and I request it on withdraw, they'll send me one Bitcoin. Does that make sense? Yes. If I wait, until let's say Bitcoin gets down to 10,000 and then I request it, they would send me like one point, they would take out the 10%, but they'd still send me like 1.4 Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So I would actually make way more money. I would make way more Bitcoin by waiting to withdraw until Bitcoin went down. Now, my okay. goal is not to do that to the company. So I've, I've never done that. But People will, and that's why we're adding Ethereum and Litecoin, like so you can request and only pay like two percent to to pay, or right. Okay. So, but why is the ten percent? Why is it so high? To protect from people that wait, he doesn't want to keep Bitcoin back here because of there's hackers all over these websites, and so right. he doesn't want Bitcoin in our wallets here so my wallet even though if i say add available that's my wallet my wallet's not in here the company has my wallet in another place when the money hits that wallet in the other place they send it from there to here is pv so they don't ever keep bitcoin on so it's for security right now and mm -hmm. he doesn't want people that earn a certain amount of bitcoin and have bitcoin go down or up he just says listen if you make 300 US dollars, I'm going to pay you 300 US dollars whenever you ask for it. So that's how he wanted to do it. And that's what he's doing. The 10% right. is to protect the company. If I were to wait until Bitcoin went down, like I said, they just want to make sure they have enough Bitcoin on hand to pay everybody. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, if I waited, I would get extra Bitcoin. And so mm -hmm. instead of paying 10% and losing it, I would actually make probably an extra 20% of Bitcoin. I know that's in depth, but he does the 10% to protect himself from if Bitcoin falls and then people withdraw all at once. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Hey Daniel. And can you, <laughs> can you show me, um, uh, can you show me, uh, the best strategy to put, uh, sign up the people, you know, the, in the, mat, in the uh, binary. What I did is pretty, if you have a power line and power line. Yes. On the front. Um, kind of. Yeah. Left so, and left. so what I did is, um, what I did, I started about a month ago, 20, 22 days ago. So I control my top spot. I control the top two spots. I control these spots as well. So I'm going to upgrade mm -hmm. all these. At that time, we couldn't, we didn't know what we were doing, actually, when we put people in. But we control this many spots. Then I have a company leg that's supposed to put spillover under here. In one month, they've put three people underneath us. Mm -hmm. one. So I knew they wouldn't because we're building way too fast. So, mm -hmm. um, so I knew that maybe could get some spillover. So I would recommend controlling your first three spots. Mm -hmm. And then it's not a bad idea if you're going to bring in some heavy hitters to put an enrollment spot that you control right underneath before the heavy hitter just in case one day you want to come back and build that spot yourself mm -hmm. but minimum i would control three spots now it's how in depth you want to go i mean 
you know, with a binary strategy and I've written binaries, I would probably, an easy way to do it is control these three spots. And then, let me think, you'd control five more down the left and five more spots down the right. And then plug your leaders into your top pretty much six enrollment spots. Like you want, you want to get to the higher level in the company for profit sharing. Yeah. So you want 12 direct people that are really good. And so I would probably put but this, this doesn't, this doesn't matter where they go. There's doesn't need to matter be where they go. My, you can from my link. put them anywhere. Right. Okay. But normally with, the, with, with binary structure, you're just going to build on the outside left and on the outside right, on the outside left, on the outside right, on the outside left, on the outside right. And that's the easiest way to build it. And mm -hmm. I tell people, you want to control your top three. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. The real money's yeah. in the matrix anyways. So you just want to do your, your big recruiting and make sure you've got a lot of people in your matrix. Cause that's where the, the, that's where the bigger money is because we're already halfway to capping the matrix daily on our top spot. And we're, we're not even a full month in yet. And we're making last, the last two days, our matrix binary has been 4,900 for the two days. And so we haven't even gotten started. I haven't personally recruited any, I've recruited, I've personally recruited two of my kind of main people but then I've been so busy helping the team learn that I haven't gone back to some of my seven and eight figure people yet. So I'm waiting until oh, like right. Simon yeah. understands this, you understand it. So you guys take care of your team without me. And then I'm going to go recruit some of my eight figure uh, money earners and I'll put them in. So I'm still waiting, which mm -hmm. is, it's good. We want to help you guys. You know, I need to, I need, there's not a lot of people that have the knowledge on how it all works. So I want to train you guys. So you, you get it, you know? Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, what else I need? So yeah. And it'll keep track of your points up here. So you guys are in my left leg. And again, I've got some pretty heavy hitters in the right leg. So tonight at midnight, it will subtract all these points. It will subtract from here and it'll pay me my binary commission. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to figure out right now, today, this morning, it's 11 AM, 1130, I guess. I just take 22,500 divided by 2000. It's 11.25 cycles. I get 200 bucks a cycle. I'm pretty, pretty much going to make 2,250 bucks so far today at 11 a.m. I think so that, just, just Simon here, I think that the, the, a good thing to teach is, uh, which I saw Charles uh, put out there, is the $500 a day. I mean, that, that, you know, that's really good, even for a, a good money earner. You know, he can make $500 a day quick. Yeah. All he needs, is, all he needs to do is, is um, that, that gets the attention of, of you know, even, even top earners. And for sure. All, yeah, and all they need to do is 5,000 points in each leg. That's it. That's it. That's it. And that, that's, not, that, that's nothing, Christian. I mean, you'll smash that. I mean, and, you know, your guys will. Well, I For will sure. have this today. What's that? <laughs> the 5,000 points per leg, I will have it today, I think. Yeah, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm saying, yeah. For, right. Boom. And imagine, imagine this, Christian, right? You, you know, um, I teach the 90-day strategy. 90 days, massive action. I wrote a book on it. Yep. And seriously, imagine... Nine, you've got a copy, yeah? <laughs> Tony doesn't know about that. I'll no, bring your copy to it. Vegas, I, Tony. I want it. All right. I need it. Bring it. <laughs> I'll bring a signed copy, eh? <laughs> I'll take it. You bet. That'd be yeah, awesome. So, but the 90 days, the 90 day action plan is all about activity, you know, reaching out three to five different ways and, and pumping it for 90 days. 90 days, I mean, it's game over. You yeah. know, you're, you know, it just is. Um, <laughs> Especially with something like this, so we really put the uh, the big the massive drive in now, and uh, you know the, the the this time of year is perfect. You know January, and you know uh, it's just it's just ideal. A lot of people looking out, you know, with USI and BitConnect going down. Yeah, they're looking for something proper and real, and um, 
we, you know, literally, you know, we can rule the world with this payment plan. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing. Everybody's looking, everybody's hungry. Everybody's tired of sending their Bitcoin to Dubai or wherever the hell some company's out of and praying yeah, that exactly. they send it back. So it's just, yeah. you know, well, this is the other thing you see a lot of people. I mean, I said this to Christian, a lot of people are just sitting on a lot of Bitcoin. I've got a lot of Bitcoin. Right. And they're thinking, well, why let it sit there in a wallet or even, you know, even in your offline wallet, why just let it sit there? Why not just load it onto the exchange and trade it? And yeah. you do the maths. You do the maths on mm -hmm. even, uh, even a half a percent per day. It's massive. Massive. You're right. And that's just You're automatically just... with the bots doing everything. <laughs> Never mind if you start the hybrids. <laughs> we just hope the bot will go like we want to go, you know? For sure, uh, for sure. The futures contracts expired today, or they, they expire today, the first batch yeah. of futures contracts. And so most people feel like Bitcoin is getting ready to spike and it's going to go up today because all the shorts, everything is pretty much done dealing and they're going to be called in. And so um, today could be a really good day for us. This evening, late afternoon, U.S. time, obviously late night, early morning uh, in, in, uh, in the UK. So I want my bots in action tonight, <laughs> for sure. I want them, I want them aggressive. So for example, uh, I have three spots, mm -hmm. but uh, I plug into the, um, the exchangers. Uh, first one, for, you know, first one. And uh, I put one Bitcoin there and the one Bitcoin is start working now with the, with the boat. Yeah. And can I plug in the other two uh, spot to the same exchanger? You can, you can. Yeah. And you can trade up to 30,000 with those three. So you can right, okay. trade up to 30,000 in that same, you can add the same API. Um, I would use a different API for each one just for security reasons. And I, I change mm -hmm. my APIs about once a month. All right, okay. But I would use a different API for each position, but you could use the same exchange, you know, the same Binance mm -hmm. account for sure. Right, okay. But on Bittrex account, you cannot add uh, by yourself the different coins, no? No, that's just how I the API the works. So it picks the coins for you. Right, because on Binance, you can add by yourself, yes? Correct. So on my Binance, if you can see my screen, if I go, uh, let me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to log into my other one. I have so many, I have too many different accounts because I do the same. I trade, you know, 10,000 in one account, 10,000 in another, 10,000 in another. I use different exchanges on them. Um, mm -hmm. But this one, oh, so here's the new message. You guys will like this. So uh, there's a new compliance message from, from Randy. And um, just, we want to keep people from publicly saying never lose, 100% guaranteed, guaranteed returns, percentages, money-making machines, set it and forget it. Just we want to stay away from those phrases. It's mainly because of us, the United States. But unfortunately, if people in Europe put it on Facebook and it gets over here, it's bad for everybody. Um, so the company is getting an audit done, so they'll be able to give us company percentages that we can post. So that's coming soon and they're impressive. Like they're really, really good. But mm -hmm. um, looking at my bots, so I've got a bot that I turned on last night. I wanted to wait until later tonight, but I was doing a Zoom and I told some guys I'd, I'd turn on a bot for them. And so I just did last night. Um, I, I think the market's still going up and down a, a bit, but you can see this one's mm -hmm. got me into, you know, quite a few trades already, but, if I want to add a coin, if I think Stratus is going to make a run and I put it in, it's now looking for Stratus. So now mm -hmm. I've got it. it. It will potentially find Stratus. If the targets are right, this, this bot will buy Stratus. Mm -hmm. I use a, a website called Wallet Investor. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's not bad. Um, I go to Forecast. There's no guarantees on any of this stuff, but it's, it shows you kind of where stuff's headed. And so it's, Ethereum's on the rise, it believes. Um, this, is, this updates daily. Stellar could be really good. Um, Quantum, you know what? That looks decent. Neo, we're, our, our bots already trade most of these. Steam, I don't have in there, but I'm going to add maybe if, if 
if it's available. And um, Ben's another good one. OMG's doing all right. So what I'll do now that I've looked at this is I'll go back to my box and I'll add Steam. No, it's not going to let me add Steam. Let me see if it'll let me add um, Quantum. Yeah. So it's got to be on Binance for me to add it. Mm -hmm. But if it is, then I can add it. So. Yeah, um, the Bitrex have uh, much more uh, coins than yeah. the Binance. Then I can add. So I'm 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 looking at a few of these. I don't know if it'll let me do X, XEM or OMG. So how much Bitcoin you trade per one bot? I've just 1. got 10,000 in there. So I've, I've traded $10,000, almost one Bitcoin, I guess. Yes, yes. But uh, you split this for the uh, small, uh, tr uh, small trades. Oh, yes, per for trade? The... Yeah, it'll trade about 150 US per trade. And per bot, you can do whatever you want. I did 0.15. Right. I like to have about five or six bots to manage. So Right, okay. I might not want all these coins, some of these smaller coins in, in all of my bots because maybe they're higher risk coins. Mm -hmm. And um, let me, I'm, just, I'm just adding these coins here. XCM, let me add that one too. Um, XCM. So it's not gonna let me pick up that coin. So um, now my bots are looking for these coins. We'll see if they find any, and hopefully they go up. There is a little more risk by adding some of these smaller coins. You know, if they went to zero on that yeah, trade, yeah. I'd lose one hundred and fifty dollars. So the the company's automatically going to pick the big ones because, like, they know Ethereum's not going to probably go to zero. If it does, we got bigger problems than the bot trades. You know, so it, yeah. it trades pretty <laughs> sick as far as how it does it. Hey, Adrian, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, how are you doing? Great, thanks. Doing well. Just going through some some comp plan stuff and some bot stuff. Thanks for hopping on. How much How much have I missed? How long have you been going? A little bit. I, I explained let the me, matrix regression a little bit. Um, I don't know if you, you're familiar with the 3x20 the matrix. So I just went through this a little bit uh, for him so he could see kind of how the, the matrix pays out, I guess. All right. He's getting it. And then he asked some bot questions. So, so I can fire off. I've got another meeting coming up in a few minutes, but I, I can take a few more questions. Christian, if you have any comp plan or bots or anything like that. Well, uh, I don't think so at the moment. <laughs> I will, if, I ask, if I have some, I will ask on the, on the chat. So. And it's a lot of information. The bottom line is when you play with the bots, you learn. You learn just playing with them. They also, mm -hmm. in your back office, you have news and webinars. They do um, different webinars. Usually it might be in the middle of the night, your time sometimes, but um, I'll have to re-log in. Um, English and Spanish. Uh, so, you know, we'll get more and more languages available in the webinars, but they do a trading webinar on Wednesday around, I think it's afternoon time US, uh, evening UK. And then they do a Sunday corporate webinar in the afternoon that basically goes over what's coming up, like what's going on with the company. Um, so that information's all in there for you guys. Um, and they are recorded and they will be available for us, yes? They are supposed to be recorded. The last one, they haven't sent out the link for it yet, but, but I'm gonna make sure they get them recorded so everybody can watch them. Yeah. Um, my Google Drive, I'm gonna add more trainings on the bots and things like that. And we'll make sure you guys have access to my Google file so you can okay, watch and use whatever you need. So um, what about you, Adrian? I know we, we had to run last time as well. Did you have any other questions from last time or, or this time that I can? Answer? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I want to start doing these webinars with you probably every other day or perhaps once or twice a week, three times a week, just quick Perfect. ones. But um, yeah, I had lots of unanswered questions. You, you had to shoot off last time, didn't you? But anyway, um, I got one little problem with my own, with my own, um, can I share my screen for two seconds? Yeah, let me stop share here and let you take over. Fire. Um, how do I do this? Um, here we go. With regards to my own account, this has only just happened in the last couple of hours, I think. Um, 
my 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 position has been demoted. It's gone backwards. So, unfortunately, they had a glitch. I'm going to talk to Tomas about it. So, the all of us did a little bit. Um, the direct members have to be two thousands, not five hundreds. And the actives have to be two actives. So two of your three have to do 2,000. So they have to do 2,000 themselves, and they have to personally bring in two people to do 2,000. So oh. the, the, they were making it where the 500s were counting, and they weren't supposed to. So they went Can you back. say it again? What's right. that? That's very important. I know. So I'm going to talk to the owners about it because it, it, in the comp plan, it is, they, they don't define it very well. Um, if I can take over the screen again, I'll show you on the comp plan. Yeah. So let me do that. Um, so I'll go. Did they, did they send a memo out for this or an email for explaining this? They, they didn't. They just did it today. I found out. So I'm going to have them send it out um asap so i don't know if i can force you out so let me see where's my view options there we go that makes it easier um yeah so in the comp plan it says three direct members yeah it needs to say three direct pro miners. It needs to say three direct 2000. So I've got to talk to him about that. Cause I didn't know because I was promoting two. So like, if you look at mine and I'll have to probably re-log in. Um, so there's a new compliance deal, but let me, I've got different accounts. So let me log into my main one here and uh, let's go quit. Go to next level one. Go here. So my main one was national, but then it's down now. So we dropped down for the directs because I haven't really done a lot of personal recruiting. I I can I can sign. I haven't even signed. My mom is like the first person I sign up in 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 my all my companies I've been with, and I haven't even got her in here yet because I've been busy. But um, and I pay for her, so she'll, she'll come in for sure. So the direct members, you know, mine dropped. I didn't even know I needed it anymore. So I, w I wasn't sponsoring with this top spot. I only sponsored enough to barely hit the promotion. And then I wanted to use every other spot to sponsor, so I got multiple matrix payouts. But this morning, I did the same thing you did, Adrian. I logged in, and I'm like, what the hell? And so I'll make sure we get a memo out. And everybody's aware of, of, hey, what this is what just happened. But the comp plan, the way it, it should be, is the, the top levels, three direct 2,000s, yeah. and, and two of those have to bring in two people that do 2,000. So this nice. isn't very clear, and that's my apologies. I, you know, I thought I understood it, but because the computer – the computer was it, it it basically anybody that did a 500 was counting and so i was like that's how it is and then they changed the computer this morning and i called and i found out why and what happened so um let me call let me get an, a, a memo out and um and we'll let everybody know what's going on for sure my apologies okay can you explain the um the, the binary bonus with regards to the points on the left and the right. Uh, I noticed you had a load of points showing on your screen there, but none of them had paid. Are they, have they paid out on, on the, how do they pay out? Okay, yeah, I showed the guys that as well. Um, on the binary tree, so this yeah. uh, midnight Pacific time in the United States, which it's like uh, 9.49 in the morning right now Pacific. So eight hours, I guess, different from you guys, I think. Um, at midnight Pacific time, it's going to add up my points and it will pay me out. So what it'll do, I was showing these guys. So you can look at your wallets if you want to see your, your, um, your binary commissions and how it all works. It'll show you in the wallet 
I can just type in binary and it shows me my each day, the commissions. And so it's gone up and it's gone this up. Is gonna, daily, yes. What's that? This is daily payment. This is daily. Yeah. This is just the binary. The matrix hasn't even paid out really yet. So that's the big money. So that's, that's where the big money comes in. But with this binary, um, it pays every night. And so what's going to happen is if you go to the network at the top of your binary tree, you're going to see your points. So, um, you guys, the Europe leg that you guys are all in my left leg. And so what will happen is you guys put teams in and build teams that adds to the left leg. And I've got a few other people that are, that are building there as well. Um, my ACN guys, I had a pretty big team at ACN. So I put my ACN guys in the right leg and they just kind of blew it up, which is great. Um, and then, so what happens is that like if, if nothing else happens today, which would be really weird, because it's early here. It's like, uh, it's not even noon yet. So if it stopped today though, I've got 22,500 on my left and, and well over 300,000 on the right. So what I do to figure out my pay, I, each, each cycle is 2000 that comes in. So that's 11 cycles pretty much. And it's 200 bucks per cycle. So right now the day is at 2,250 in earnings pretty much. And they don't pay 0.15. You work, you work on the lowest amount, do you? Yeah. You work on the lowest amount. It's going to be 22. So now what also would happen, if nothing else happens today, the right leg in the morning. So in the morning, this left leg will be at zero. And they will pay me 2,000. It'll be, it'll be, it'll actually be at like 500 maybe. They pay me 2,200 and change. And then the right leg, if nothing else happens, there in the morning when I wake up, the right leg will say 291,500 points. So the left will say zero and the right will say 2,900 or 291,500. And then it starts over that next morning. All right. The right, the right leg minus the left leg. Yep. And, mm -hmm. and in regards to the left leg, they pay me money for those. So they take these away and pay me money and they take those away from the right side because they pay. And you can withdraw that money into Bitcoin. Is that right? Correct. So I told them this earlier, you can do withdraw available. You can withdraw your commissions. The upside and downside, it's a 10% commission. They are a 10% fee to withdraw. Now, the reason they do that is because of arbitrage. They pay me in PV, they pay all of us in PVP, which is basically US dollar. So if I earned this, and I explained this to Christian, if I earned this a week ago, two weeks ago, and Bitcoin, let's say, was 15,000 a coin, and I request it, they would give me one Bitcoin. If I waited till today and I just let that commission sit, which I haven't, I've never withdrawn, I just use my commission to sign people up. But if I did withdraw, Instead of giving me one Bitcoin, now Bitcoin's 10,000. They'd give me one and a half Bitcoin. They'd charge me 10%, but I'd still end up with 1.35 Bitcoin. So by waiting, I'd actually make more money if I wait until Bitcoin drops. So the 10% doesn't matter to me. The problem for the company is if a bunch of us got together and waited, then it, we're, we're taking advantage of the company. So to fix that, very soon they're going to offer Ethereum and Litecoin and maybe Ripple. And if you withdraw those, they're going to charge like 2%, very low. So there'll be other right. options. But right now that's where it is. Like it's paying us in dollars, but when we ask for it, it gives us Bitcoin, if that makes sense. Right. It's weird, but that, that's how he does it. He didn't want to keep Bitcoin in the back office because so many hackers try and get in. So it, he, he just keeps this PV in the back office. So if a hacker ever got in there, there's nothing for them. PV, it's, it's worthless for them. Okay, what about um, Bittrex? You, you're not allowed to select your own altcoins in Bittrex. Is that right? Correct. You can't do it. It's the API. I don't know why it, it doesn't let us do it, but it doesn't. So if you, if you set up four robots, they randomly selected, do they? Uh, it's gonna pick 15 coins. They'll all pick the same 15 coins, probably. I'll have to. I'll have to find out. 
Um, but my understanding is it's just auto picked 15 coins and they'd all be pretty much the same. So there'd be no point in setting up four or five robots then on a 10 grand package. Maybe. Yeah. You might, might just sign up one. Um, that might be the way to do it in Bitrix. I, I haven't played with that. I don't, I don't know. Um, mm. if, if multiple bots, it, it might be good to have a couple multiple bots depending on they make decisions in the milliseconds. So maybe having four or five bots, it can, it could maybe read a certain signal on one coin that the other one was maybe in the middle of a purchase. And, you know, so I'll have to ask, that's a, that's a good question. I'll try and find out if there is really value mm. from a, a uh, timing standpoint to have more bots than just one. Yeah, and just uh, with regards to these, the minus, the red, the, the red percentages, the minus. Yep. Where do you draw the line? Again, the same question asked all the time. If, if it goes to minus 10, 20, 30, th does the robot know that, you know, is it going to keep going as minus 50? You know, because some, yeah. some, some coins hit a sort of a big pump. If the robot buys at the top of the pump, it's, it's only going to go down. Correct. So there's two philosophies. Some people never close out red trades and they just wait. Um, I, and they, they've done fine. Like you can do well doing that. I am of the other philosophy where I want to get out sometimes. Now there's two things to point out. Um, some of these like Zcash, it says I'm almost 5% down. That might be a little higher. It might be lower. It depends on what Bitcoin has done since I bought that at 352 UTC. I think that's Madrid time. I don't know if you guys, you guys are GMT probably if you're in England. Um, so if Bitcoin has dropped, my percentage isn't down that much. So here's what I recommend, Adrian. If you're going to sell now, what you need to look at is your balance in your exchange. Am I cool with this balance? And I showed Christian this earlier, but like my deposits, and I'm not a trader. Um, most of my crypto that I've earned over, over the last year, I've, I've moved into real estate and my traditional businesses, uh, just because I don't trade a lot of crypto. I've kept some, trust me, but a lot of it, I move around. I didn't trade ever. I bought and held, uh, you know, with Cryptopia, Bitstamp. I bought and held, but I've never traded until now, like this company. So I deposited 0.56, almost 0.57 Bitcoin, and I have 0.96 right now. So I'm up mm. now here's when I want to sell now people go, Oh, all these are red. All these are red. That doesn't mean anything. If, if I'm happy with this amount, this Bitcoin amount, I can sell out all these trades and it's all going to still be the same amount. So if I click sell now and I, you know, this trade just started today, so I'm not in that big of a hurry to sell it. But I was telling people earlier, like, I think the market's going to go up. And because of that, like later today, I think it's going to go up for real. Now, I might be wrong. But because of that, I'm going to look at bots that are older. And if there's something like this, like right now, I'm going to sell it right now. Anything that's 11, 10, I might wait on six. But hell, let's sell that too. Um the rest of them I'll let sit. And there's, it's just personal preference. But what I want to do, if I truly believe that Bitcoin and the altcoins are going to run up here over the next few hours and few days, I want to free up my troops to get into more trades. So I just freed up 150 right there, 300, 450. So I just freed up, let's call it $450 to go find more trades. Three new trades that don't stall out as long. Now you don't have to do that. But after three days, I start getting antsy. Like this trade's been in since the 21st. I'm out. Now, it's probably, Bitcoin's probably been down since then a little bit. So I might not be down as bad. But what I know is that coin, so I bought IOTA, 11.82%, and I bought 41 of them. And on Binance, I have my IOTA right there. I have 246. So 40 of them were in there. And if I go look at my orders, it might be open. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So I've got an order to sell. There's that IOTA that I just sold that you guys saw me click that button right there. Wow, that's quick. I'm fine 
Oh, there's a lot of times where you, it never shows in open orders. It just shows up in order history because by the time I click open orders, it's already filled the son of a gun. So wow. Great. one of those might have filled potentially. The XMR was a cell. I'll have to look if I sold it on one of these. Um, just, yeah, so this cell, 0 0.319. 0.319. So that cell, that when I click that one, I didn't even get to see it in open orders. It already filled it like that. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm cool with that because like I said, I don't care what the red numbers say. I only care what it says in my Binance because that's the number that's important. Sorry, the, the order, the order history, that's uh, existing orders or closed orders? So that the order history is only going to be closed. Closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to show the buys and the sells that are done. So what's the, what's the trade history then? Trade history is the same type of look. Buys and sells that are done. Um, but it gives you an example. I, I've been having trouble with my Excel on this file. I don't know why. Um, so what's the difference between both of them? They're the same. I think they're the same. I think you might have a little bit more... Um, Yeah, shit, it's exactly the same. I'm just trying to see. No, you know what the only difference is? I can uh, see canceled work here. What's the difference? I If I do order history, I can actually see the canceled orders. If I canceled any orders myself, I can see it. On trade history, it won't show canceled orders. It'll only show executed. So it's pretty much the same. If you want to, if you want to get rid of all those coins, you just want all Bitcoin. You can just sell those coins on Binance and convert, convert all the Bitcoin. Sell them here and move. No, them I mean, sell, no, I mean sell them. Can't you sell them on Binance itself and, and free up more Bitcoin? I mean, you can. Here's the problem. So, so right now, like I just sold this. What? Which one? You know, I just sold this IATA, right? You guys saw it. You saw me do it. If I would have went and sold the IATA through here, so if I went to my IATA and traded out and I sold that bot's IATA, I don't know how a bot talks, but I can tell you what would happen. This bot would go to sell that when it hit profit and it would go, where is it? It's not there. And so mm -hmm. the bot's going, hey, I bought this IATA. I can't find it. I'm done working right now. I got to take a break and it would stop working. And then the programmers would have to come in and fix that bot. So never sell on the exchange. Just stop cheating. Yes. The amount. Yeah. If the, if the bot buys it, <laughs> now listen, let's say I personally bought a thousand IATA myself. I can come in and trade my own IATA in and out. I could sell a thousand, but if I sold a thousand and forty, and in this bot was looking for it to sell and couldn't find it messes my bot up. It's not the end of the world. I can pause that bot. I can have them come fix it or I can just pause. Yeah. It. yeah. What I mean is are there the, what about the coins that are on Binance, which are not in the middle of a trade the ones that are sitting where, 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 where are them ones? I, I want to convert those back to Bitcoin. If they're not, so on mine, I don't have any personal trades. If I did, I can convert, I can convert my own. If, if, yeah, no, I don't mean personal trades. I mean, where are the coins that are just sitting there? Where not, not in, it, it already moves into Bitcoin. So it, it, just, that IATA, when I sold that IATA, it automatically went here. And then my bot, I have a bot that's live right now, this one. If I mm -hmm. want to get all into Bitcoin, I need to go here and I need to pause that bot. If I click stop buy, then I have no bots that are working. All of them are paused, as you can see. Every bot that I have is paused except for one. So if I pause this last bot and then I sell out of all old positions, so if I go in and I go, so you already see, I user sold a bunch of these. I was doing another demo and I was like, listen, I think, I think the market's getting ready to heat up. I don't want to be sitting in freaking trades. I just don't. So I look at it. User sold. That one's close enough. You know, so some of these are close enough. I'll see if they go green later today during the bump. But if I pause all my bots and sell now, everything will end up in Bitcoin. All of it. That's where it goes. Right.
And so I'll still but have that moment, at the moment. You are out of that ten thousand, ten thousand dollars worth there. That's all invested in in all in, in all those altcoins, isn't it? It's not in Bitcoin, is it? Everything you see on the left side. I have a little bit that's in Bitcoin. Usually, this is fairly accurate. So if I go to my robots, I should have about sixteen hundred in Bitcoin that I'm not trading. So I've got eight thousand four hundred and twenty-six dollars trading right now. And how much? How do you answer the question in regards to ten thousand um, dollars trading limit? How much is the is the bot trading of that? Is it like a, a percentage drawdown? How much is it actually? It can't be trading the full ten thousand dollars in one in one go, can it? Each trade's worth one hundred and fifty dollars. It can get you into, so it could get you, give or take, some of them are $100, some of them are $170, but it, it, I've had this number, negative, 7, negative 700. I've never seen it go higher than that, but that's if Bitcoin swings a little bit. It will, your bots, if the market gets hot, really hot, this number is going to go to zero or right near zero because my bots are going to want to trade any Bitcoin they can get their hands on they're going to want to throw it into an altcoin if they know the market's moving. Because usually when the market trends up, altcoins trend up more aggressive than Bitcoin. But then unfortunately when it trends down, they trend down more aggressively. So um, right now, if you add up my bots that are in action, I'm trading a little over 8400 right? So it tells me... So you're actually $8,400 of your money is actually out there in re at risk then correct correct so when i look at it part of that eight thousand is sitting right here it's in it's in you know the stellar it's in monero it's in ethereum now these are complete once they're complete that money's not back out there um bitcoin gold i'm at risk um these are pending even though they're green they won't sell until it's at least one percent so cash neo that's at risk so let's call it you know uncompleted trades out of here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fifteen at a hundred bucks a pop i've got fifteen hundred in action on this bot right now but it's probably closer to twenty five hundred you know some of them are 170 150 i could do the math i mean the bottom line is you look at the buy price you look at the amount you bought and you multiply them and then you take that amount of bitcoin that's what you got yeah so it's not tough to figure out what you've got in action. Um, for me, I have a lot tied up. When the market tanked, I have a lot of bots that went red, but they were already green so far that it didn't bother me. You know, so this one, this one actually closed out all, all the way, but this is an older bot. So if I think you can't, you can't delete, you can't delete the bots, can you? If you want no, to start again, they're in there, they're in there forever. So. The other thing is, well, I notice you've got more than 15 uh, altcoins on one bot there. What's the advantage of putting more than 15? If I think a bot's going to make a run on a coin, like let's say you, you, you know, you're a trader and you say Tony Stellar is going to freaking rip it. Or if you say Stratus is going to rip it, then I go, all right, Stratus is going to rip it. I believe you. I know you're a better trader than me. I click on Stratus. Now my bot, if this bot's not paused and it's on, it's looking for Stratus. And what happens if you take um, delete one of the one of the old coins and um, there's a trade still going on, on on that coin? Not if I go under fifteen, but the trades will still go on. But now, like if I delete Stratus, it's not looking for Stratus anymore. If it bought it, it will still sell it for me, but it just won't buy anymore. Mm. I have to have fifteen coins, so I need to put like Ripple back in there, Zcash. I can pick whatever fifteen coins. But I've got to have this point. So let's say I want to put Stratus back in. Now I'm in. I've got. Is it a good idea to set up um, four four different bots with fifteen different coins in each bot? You could. I wouldn't recommend that, just because I just wouldn't. Um, not. I guess you could. It's really what your risk tolerance is, right? So. I don't worry about Ethereum or IATA going down to zero, right? Like they're just not going to. But some of the coins on, especially like HitBTC, like some of the exchanges we can trade, I don't know HitBTC if it lets you choose your coins, but there's ICOs that are like hitting exchanges 
a day ago on HitBTC. And so if you threw that in the bot and the bot traded it, it could go to zero. Like it's a, it's a freaking, it's a higher risk coin. So you could, you could set up one bot with 0.1 Bitcoin and put 15 high risk coins. What I would recommend if you're going to do something like that is just use the hybrids and trade them, trade them actively with the hybrid bot. Right. Okay. Um, uh, I have so a question about... You can set a stop about... loss on them with the hybrid, Adrian. That's why. You can set a stop loss. Whereas here, right. the, the auto bot, you cannot. That's why I just don't get too risky with coins on the auto. <clears throat> right. I have a question. If uh, someone purchased the packet for uh, 500 yep. okay, license, can he upgrade any time for the 2000 in within 90 days, he can upgrade for another 1500. And this so will be count as, as, as he purchased the 2000, yes? Say that again. And this is gonna be counting uh, in the matrix and everywhere, like he purchased the 2000, not the 500, Correct. yes? Correct. Once he upgrades, it counts. Correct. Right, so he need to just additional, uh, uh, or add money like 1500 and Upgrade, yes, or how this works? If he does it within three months, that's it. If he waits longer, then he'll have to do a full 2,000 if he wants to do it. But you have right. 90 days to just add 1,500 and boom, you're, you're at the 2,000 spot. It would pay you, when, if I upgraded and, and you brought me in, it would pay you the commission, it would pay the binary, then I can trade more, which will help in the matrix. It'll pay, in, it'll, it'll help you promote the unit level for volume. So. It's, it's just like bringing in a 2000 pretty much. Right. Okay. Okay. That's fantastic. Okay. I've got a little problem with trying to change my, my email address and password in the back office. Is, it, is there a glitch somewhere? There is a glitch. Nobody can change their email. So s send a support an orange support. And I'm going to message corporate as well. I'm going to also message them to, to get a memo out. Actually, let me do that right now. Okay. And well, what about passwords? I can't even change my password. Um, so yeah, that's a glitch. So let me do this. Um, I've got a guy at corporate. Oh, wow. Well, let me see. Uh, let's see. Can you delete your cookies? All right. Try that and then try it again. That's what I just got that from corporate two hours ago. I just, I've been on zooms for a couple hours straight. So you'd have to, you go into your back office and then click on change password. Is that right? Under, under profile, under my profile? So yeah, you should go to my profile, change passwords. Simon, are you still with us, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm still out. Uh, yeah, still learning. <laughs> You're sleeping. So, so here. So how are you doing, Simon? Right. So, yeah, great, Adrian. Very excited. On your <laughs> Simon, on your social media, make sure you get that off of there. Compliance just messaged me. Oh right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I've not, I've only been on there today. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah. So it's got the bots on there, like the the trades and the percentages. So make sure you just uh, remove that picture. Sure. Uh, oh yeah. With regards to that, I just I just catch. We have to remove what pictures and text or or soon. Yeah. Or, the five hundred dollars a day to Simon Compliance wants that off. Um, you can say make great money, great money, big money, whatever. You can say that. Um, and then on your back office when you log in, right now there's a there's a compliance notice. So. But yeah, you you're not allowed to use those. Um, the words that they put, in, put on on notice, is that right? The words they put on there are guaranteed, stuff like that. Correct, correct. The company is putting together actual percentages that we can share. They're working on all that. And, and you know, it's shitty, but it's, you guys could probably do all that stuff, no problem. But the United States is just a bitch about that stuff. I don't like it, but we have to follow the rules. And unfortunately, the U.S., if you, if you play by the rules in the United States, you are pretty much playing by the rules everywhere in the world when it comes to opportunities like this. And so we're going to, we're, we're really, and I know Simon and I have had some great talks about it and he understands the matrix and the amount that we'll be trading billions of dollars. So we just want to really protect the company and make sure that none of our team does anything that can put us at risk. Because if the USA comes after the company, they come after it everywhere. They're assholes, unfortunately. Mm. It is what it is. And what about screenshots? You can't use um, any 
screenshots of any I can't screenshot this or my bots now listen privately so what you need to do capture people's attention and then private message them all this shit send it all to them you can do that now don't send it to them and say win it all yeah never lose don't say like when you send it to them hey no guarantees just be be straight up with people like we don't need to hype in this deal like when i get someone in and show them listen i deposited 0.57 Bitcoin on the 28th of December, I started trading it and I have 0.96. Anyone that's been in crypto knows that from December 28th to today, everybody's losing except for my bots and people that really know how to trade. They're winning. <clears throat> so I don't really know how to trade. So the only way I had a chance to win during this downturn was these bots. That was it. So I have one more question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's we we pay in the matrix uh, twenty percent, uh, let's say fee for the company uh, weekly. Correct. Where does come from the, the 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 percentage from the profit? Yes, that will yes. be in dollars or with bitcoins. It's paid in Litecoin, so you'll pay them in Litecoin. I know, but uh, how this gonna count? Because let's say the robot have a view to my Binance account, yes? Let's say I put the one Bitcoin and I make 1.5, okay? So yep. all together I have 1.5 yep. Bitcoin uh, because the robot make me, let's say, half a Bitcoin extra. Yeah. So I will pay the 20% from the 0 0.5 uh, Bitcoin, yes? Correct, yes. But let's say the Bitcoin drops down, I don't know, to 5,000 and you know, uh, uh, the, the 10,000 what I get on the beginning, I have now 5,000 dollars. I mean in dollars. Yeah. So together with the 1.5 Bitcoin, I have seven and a half. So I'm actually on the back. Okay, Correct. Bitcoin I have more, but dollars I have a 50% less. Correct. Okay. So it's on the amount of Bitcoin because the bots, the whole, the whole purpose of the bots is to increase this number Right. It doesn't matter what Bitcoin does. So we pay. When this number increases, we pay. If Bitcoin tanks, we still pay. Now, if the opposite happened and Bitcoin skyrocketed, you still only pay your little percentage, but your, your dollar amount is way higher. So it goes right. both ways. So the company just has to make the decision. It only looks at, hey, did we help you get more Bitcoin? Right. So if, if let's say my trades I on lose, so I don't pay anything. Yeah, I didn't lose. I didn't make money on my bots last week because I didn't do hybrid trades. So right. like my my next level two, and my next level one. Yeah. So when you guys log in, you should see this. Make sure you have your people read it. Um, right, okay. Some of the wording and stuff like that. It's just important. Um, and then um, let me see matrix earnings. Yeah. So, so I, I missed I missed this. But when is the when is the twenty percent taken out of your account? It's not taken out of your account. You have to send it to them. They have no access to my Binance. So like if you look at my, my account, when you do your API, even for Bitrix, you do it the same way. So they can, they can read info, my balances, they can trade, yeah, 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 yeah. but they cannot withdraw. So they have to ask yeah. me to send them the money. I have a week to send it to them. They'll email you and in your back office, if I owed them money, it would show me. Like, hey, you owe us this. It'll say pay with Litecoin or pay with available, meaning I can use my wallet to pay that. Right. So when I come into my wallet and I want to use some of that, I can. So how are you, keep, how, how are you keeping a track on what you've earned to, to pay the 20%? You're just assuming what they ask you for is correct, is it? I mean, you could track it because, like, I know what I've earned. You know, I can, I can take this order history it's a lot of work but i can take my trade history and i can download it and then i can do the math on so so if i download the whole trade history i can start with let's just say the buys download those and then download the sales i'll know how much money total i use to buy I'll know how much I got when I sold and then I'll just do the math and I can just set the week. I mean, it's not that tough. 
I'm, I, my background's in finance and economics, so I would go, okay, they're charging me for last week, Monday to no. Sunday. And then I'd go, I want all the sales from Monday to Sunday. Then I'd, I'd export them. I'd add up the price, the amount filled. Uh, I'd subtract. Well, sorry, what do, you, what do you want? You're, you're adding up the price column, just the price column. You're, you're adding up. I'd add up the price, and then I'd have to take the price times the amount uh, of, of classic I got, the amount of Bitcoin uh, cash that I got. So take these two numbers and multiply them, and then that's your total that you paid. Then you're going to have to go see what Binance is at. It, it's not easy. So I would mm. do an Excel sheet. Maybe I'll make one for you guys. So I'll do an Excel sheet where if you plug in the value of Binance, it'll calculate it in Bitcoin for you. So I need to convert that to Bitcoin. And then I would take these two numbers, subtract the fee, I'd have the total, and then I'd know what I sold, what I, what I actually made selling. So, you know, the bottom line is then I'd have to go look at my buys, how much did I spend to get, so the sales are basically in my pocket, that's what I made. Then I'd have to go through the buys for the week see how much during that week that I bought and how much did I pay. And then I look at the difference. If, if I made more money for the week, I'm good. Um, mm -hmm. If I lost money for the week, I don't know. Anything. The other thing is, are you allowed to, when, when you're doing live webinars like you're doing now, um, if there's about 50, 100 people on a call, are, are you allowed to share your back office what you're doing now? I wouldn't probably with 1,500. Um, just depending on who's recording it. I, my webinars are pretty safe because I say no guarantees about a million times. But for the bigger webinars, if they're really massive, what I'll probably do is the regular slideshow and then send out a link. So a second webinar link for people that want to sign up. And I'll say we're going to take a quick two minute break. For those of you that are getting started, we're going to do a training. And I'm going to share with you you know, how the back office works, how the robot works. For those of you that have questions, uh, get with the person that invited you down, they'll answer questions. And then we'll cut off that webinar, come back on the next webinar, and we'll do a full training. So I'll talk with corporate and figure out the best ways to do it. Ah. I think eventually I can get approved where I can pull up my back office. But what I'm going to need is I'm going to have to put disclaimers there. You have to go. So I'll need disclaimers on, like, on my back office to pull it up and share it with people. Yeah, yeah. So Okay, I need to go, and uh, thank you for, for everything. No worries. I've got to go, too. I've got to run on another one. I'm a little late. People are hitting yeah. me so hard, so I need to talk with them. Yeah, you, we, you guys can't sign me up. I'm already in. So we got to go talk to people that don't know about the business yet. Exactly. Uh, can you just uh, send me the recording or put to your cloud and I will, can you can use it? For sure. I'll send you it in a Google Drive. So let me stop Thanks. the recording. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll do Good it great. again. Well done. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, when are you free next? Uh, Tony, when are you free next to do, um, I got about 50, 60 people who want to come on to a call. Uh, when, when are you free next? Everywhere. Set, set it up for 3 p.m. today, my time, 9 p.m. yours, if that works. If not, let me know tomorrow. Uh, Facebook me a times tomorrow, and I'll work with you. Yeah, not, uh, uh, have you got an, uh, 45, how much time you got tonight? Nine, 3 p.m. your time. How much time you got then? 45 minutes. I have minutes. time to do a Q&A, a long one. So I've got plenty of time. I won't schedule anything for at least an hour. So okay, I'll then we'll do that. Then 3 p.m. your time, 9 p.m. my time. Yeah, that's great. Let's Today. do it. Send me the link. Okay. Cheers, Em.